Tunisia has overturned a law that banned women from marrying non-Muslims. A spokeswoman for President Biji Kaida Sepsi made the announcement and congratulated women on gaining the freedom to choose one's spouse. Until now, a non-Muslim man who wished to marry a Tunisian Muslim woman had to convert to Islam and submit a certificate of his conversion as proof. Tunisia, which is 99% Muslim, is viewed as one of the most progressive Arab countries in terms of women's rights. The new law comes after President Sepsi pushed for the lifting of the marriage restriction law that was put in place in 1973. He said in a speech last month, during celebrations of the National Women's Day, that the marriage law was an obstacle to the freedom of choice of the spouse. The restriction was also seen as violating Tunisia's constitution which was adopted in 2014 in the wake of the Arab Spring Revolution. Human rights groups in Tunisia had also campaigned for the law's abolition. The order comes into force immediately and couples are free to register their marriages at government offices. The BBC's Rana Jawad in Tunis says that many Tunisians see the removal of the marriage restriction as another landmark in guaranteeing women's freedom in the country. In July, the Tunisian parliament also introduced a new law that abolished a clause that allowed rapists to escape any punishment if they married their victims. The country banned polygamy as far back as 1956, setting it apart from other Muslim-majority nations. However, women in Tunisia still face discrimination particularly in matters of inheritance which still prioritizes sons over daughters. The Tunisian Association of Democratic Women estimates that nearly 70% of Tunisian women are victims of abuse. Amnesty International reported last year that there were few signs to show that things had improved for women since the Arab Spring Revolution in 2010. What do you think about this news? Scroll down and comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye and see you again.